Vehicles are changing all the time. Every year, new technology comes out that rapidly advances our everyday vehicles of choice, adding new technology, improving the existing functions, or completely radicalizing the design. But what can we expect from the future cars? Will they rapidly improve, or have we perfected the design? We've picked out the most exciting technology, concepts, and upcoming models for the future of vehicles. Hyundai Elevate Back in 2019 at CES, Hyundai unveiled the Elevate concept car. It's certainly unique as far as concept cars go, offering a vehicle that combines wheels with legs. This would allow the car to move about in ways other cars couldn't. Climbing stairs to allow someone in a wheelchair to get in, fitting into parking spaces better, or moving over difficult objects. With these legs, the car would even be able to climb and walk around where wheels aren't helpful. When a tsunami or earthquake strikes, current rescue vehicles can only transport first responders to the edges of the debris. They have to travel the rest of the way on foot. Elevate can drive into place and climb directly over debris from a flood or pieces of collapsed buildings, said John Su. Audi AI Trail When Audi revealed the AI Trail back in 2019, it did feel slightly like a chaotic melting pot of futuristic tech ideas. Drones, detachable hammock seats, and a lot of glass are some of the features you can find on board this concept car, but it does offer some interesting indications of where cars could go. Along with being an electric car, it would feature antibacterial, dirt-repellent coating on armrests and interior parts of the car. The seats are detachable-style hammocks, which can be removed and used on camping trips and allow you to clean easier. There is also the weirder suggestion in this concept of drones that follow the car and light up the route ahead. It does all feel very futuristic, but whether Audi's AI, Trail is a functional model for the future of cars, we're not so sure. Canoe Pickup The canoe pickup is another car that looks overall pretty normal. Other than a larger-than-average front window, it could easily pass as the kind of car you would see day-to-day. It doesn't have crazy technology or loads of screens. Instead, Canoe is focusing on functionality. The car is heavily modular, allowing you to change the rooftop accessories, size and features, as well as being able to extend or tuck away the pull-out bed, completely changing the size of the car. This means you can have a smaller car for speeding around the city or extend out the top and the back for maximum storage on a trip. It has hidden drawers, extra plugs, solar panels, and integrated lighting across the outside of the car. Nothing particularly advanced but modular features on a car is a great idea we rarely see. Barbagallo Bike Cars An emphasis for riding a bicycle for a shorter travel in urban jungle provides you a fossil fuels-free journey without hampering our environment. In fact, cycling is a lifestyle for many people due to various reasons as it gives pleasure and keeps you fit. Every day, we find news about new innovations in design and concept of a large spectrum of bicycles across the world. That sound good as people now understand the effect of pollution on climate and started using the vehicle that powered either by the human or renewable source of energy. To boost the new concept of safe and stylish eco-friendly vehicle, an architect Giorgio R.G. Barbagallo from Barbagallo Bike Cars designed and developed a fabulous bike Barbagallo X01. Vahana. Airbus isn't content with designing just one flying car. It's also building Vahana, an autonomous flying machine. This one has eight rotors and tiltable wings, and it looks pretty cool with a lift-up cockpit revealing seating for one. The company is already working on a full-size prototype, and it's planning a demonstration flight by the end of the year. The Airbus A3 Vahana Alpha 2 is a full-scale self-piloting Avitiol Canard tilt-wing demonstrator, which has eight propellers and eight electric motors for propulsion in all directions. Alpha 2 has a mock-up interior with seating for one person, but hypothetically could carry two passengers. The instrument panel with one small screen is a mock-up as well. Airbus Car Drone Hybrid Airbus a company best known for building airplanes, has unveiled their car drone hybrid called Pop-Up. Unlike typical flying car concepts, the Pop-Up features a modular setup that will allow it to operate both on ground and in the air. A drivable passenger capsule about the size of a smart car can attach to a giant quadcopter that will lift it into the air, giving passengers the option to travel through the traffic or above it. The plan is for the pop dunt up to be controlled by so that passengers can summon the vehicle on demand via an app. 
Airbus sees this as the most efficient way to ferry passengers. It would also the first fully electric, zero-emission vehicle system designed specifically to relieve traffic congestion, which is expected to increase by 2030. Lilium Aviation's Jet Lilium Aviation's Jet uses the same distributed electric propulsion concept as Aurora's Lightning Strike. It's a battery-powered oversized football with a glass dome over the occupants and an array of swiveling fans on the wings at the back. A full-sized prototype took to the air in Munich, Germany in April, proving that the basic idea works. Lilium's claims of 190 miles of range at 190 miles per hour may take some yet-to-be-invented battery tech, though. Volo City The Volocopter is a new take on the helicopter. Instead of two huge blades on top, it has 18 smaller ones, spaced out on a ring that approximates the reach of traditional rotors. German company Evolo says this funky thing will have two seats and be super easy to fly. Twin batteries offer 30 minutes flying time. The Velocity Will is the fourth-generation electric takeoff and landing aircraft, EVTOL, by the German urban air mobility developer Volocopter, while staying true to Volocopter's key technical and safety features. 18 rotors, redundancy in all critical systems, a low noise signature and a rigid commitment to the inner city mission. According to Volocopter, the Velocity will become the first commercially licensed Volocopter, developed according to the high standards and requirements of the European Aviation Safety Agency. Our intensive testing program has informed the innovative design and the outstanding overall performance of the Velocity. Quiet, safe and comfortable, the Velocity engenders urban air mobility. If you found this video informative, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and share it with fellow tech enthusiasts. And as always, stay tuned for more exciting updates from us. Thanks for watching.